What's going on, everybody? Got me in action here. We got a fresh one coming up to northern, northeast Arizona area, show a little conch area. Another 20 footer. This one's in really good shape. Um, I always strive to get the same quality, but you don't always get exactly. Obviously, they're all used a little bit differently. Used for the same thing, but banged up a little bit differently. So, this one's pretty clean. Uh, and when I go by clean, I go by how well the handles work. Um, is the main thing, especially for customers. They always want to be able to get in those handles. Um, you don't have to want to be a bodybuilder to open these damn things. So these things are real smooth on both doors, all four handles. All the stuff can be replaced too. So it's not a big deal. You can always buy sets of the stuff out of the company in Ohio and, and re replace them if you need to. Um, the best place I use, I think about 60 bucks, maybe 120 bucks for all new componentry on here. So it's not too far off if you need to. If these are ever bent, they're a real pain in the butt. But these are real good. The containers in real good shape. Pillars are all in good shape, so it's still cargo worthy as far as stacking. Uh, no major dents. Got a little one right here that's pretty standard for these things. I mean, a lot of things get bounced around. It's not just the outside of these things. I mean, a forklift drives inside and loads these. So you got metal um, pallets, you got wood pallets, you got different types of material goes in there, so occasionally they will get bumped. Pillars are all good, like I said. It's got a couple bumps on this, but nothing like, uh, you know, it's going to be detrimental to the structure of the actual um, container. Got a little notch on the corner up there. If you follow my line here, little one on top of that, little notch something bumped into that, but nothing like I said is detrimental to the quality of the container itself. Um, the floor is in phenomenal shape in this thing. Like I said, the doors open really good. I'm gonna be painting a few of these too. This is something I would just sell as is because the patina is kind of there and people like this look um, with like the, the lettering and stuff. Got a little dent right here. That's the other side. Um, See so about one, one that size and one about half that size on the other side. A little patina on the exterior here, but that's nothing. Look how nice and clean the edges are. Clean the pillars are. Clean the little cleats are on the top. That's kind of what I look at. So anyway, um, like I said, some people like the patina. I had some really cool ones with like big eagle wings on the side of them. So it just kind of depends on what you get. I don't get to pick out like what the paint scheme is when I get them down at the ports. I just kind of pick them up as it is. Uh, like Well, at a certain quality, but as is as far as the look. So open this one up and see what the inside looks like. Those of you guys that follow my channel, on my smaller property, my on-grid property, I took two of these 20-footers, one's for storage over on like this side, one is my little workshop. I'll do an update video on that. I'm eventually gonna put a roof over top of it and a deck between and a back wall. And I'm gonna do a gigantic version of that on my larger property, but I'll try and do this with the, with the camera. You can see how nice these handles work on this thing. It's a little easier to do them at the same time, but yeah, that was good. One-handed, popped it right open, no problem, so. Like I said, the floor on this thing is, is really in good shape. Um, metal dirty to you guys. It's been had forklifts up and down this thing maybe five, 10 years, who knows. Um, the pillars right here, the opening, the jam, I guess you'd call it. Really good shape. Catch up my camera. Um, not a whole bunch of rust along the edge. I mean, it's really nice and clean. Got a little spot right there, that's nothing. So uh, a little spot right there, nothing. Just a really nice, clean, good quality seal on there. Um, good quality seals of rubber on the bottom. You don't usually have to fix these out. Even a little chunk like that from a forklift still seals really nice on this, this seal up in here. That's just a flap to divert water away from it from crawling back up inside it. So um, anyway, just thought I'd share kind of a condition report on one of these things. People call me from through YouTube now and I'm trying to reach out to me for containers. Um, this is what I, I try and aim for, something in this kind of caliber. And I found that other than a one trip, which is like a couple thousand bucks more than I charge you know, for something like this, the one trips are really hard to get a hold of. And you know, like they're per perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, but this thing is a really good sound, watertight, wind tight, you know, great storage item, a storage, you know, like base, a good base for a build. Got a little bump in the roof. We said fork was coming in out of here. I'll give a bump out here. That's from the outside. That one's from the inside. So you can kind of see the difference where a fork will hit it and kind of detour it. Yeah, it's pretty good to do that. But I mean, also not pulling away the seams or like that. They still remain watertight, cargo worthy, wind tight, and in good shape. Um, like I said, you're not going to find, well, you can find perfect, but they're, they're significantly more expensive for a, a one tripper that's got almost no, it's like they went in here with like kid gloves. So anyway, just trying to give you an update. This is a 20 foot shipping container. Um, is what I bring up uh, from you know, Southern California and various areas, but normally Southern California into Northeast Arizona. Um, it's not a hard job, not a hard gig. It's not a job, I guess, it's a hobby, but um, it does take some time. You gotta have the, the truck, you gotta have the trailer, you gotta have the resources, you gotta have the, the, the tie downs and the, the, the binders and uh, 
you gotta put the, 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 the road time on your truck too, and the windshield time sitting there. So, but uh, yeah, that's what I do. Like I said, I use these in my own personal use, and I um, bring them up there and uh, make them available for people in the area. You can touch me through the channel here, or you can give me a call, 928-243-3443, uh, and I'll put that in the comments section. I'm not real good with videos, you guys all know that by now. Um, so I'll put in the comment section like as a man of comment. <laughs> so jump down from here, I'm gonna go ahead and secure this thing, get out of this neighborhood because it is a, a trash hole down here. So if you class why you leave California, I apologize Arizona for clouding the area up and coming up there, but uh this is uh it's not what I want to live by. It's nasty. Anyway guys, thanks for tuning in. Give me questions on uh, 20 foot shipping containers, give me a holler. I am actively seeking a 40 foot uh trailer once i get the 40 foot trailer i will be also doing 40 foot uh shipping containers um and you know just double up on my 20 so a uh, 40 foots will be coming up soon i know a lot of people aren't really looking for those right now just because prices are so outrageous um kind of is what it is and uh have a great day